Dennis Wrigley Ministries, a better way. Unity, renewal and healing. It's been my great privilege in life to meet thousands and thousands of young people. I've met them in clubs, I've met them at universities, uh, I've met them in prisons, I've met them on the streets, I've met them in camps, on expeditions, on pilgrimages. And I thank God for all that he has given to me through them. But he's given me a warning. He's given me the warning that very often his people project the wrong message to young people. Helped by the media, yes. Helped by filmmakers, and television program producers. What is that wrong image? The images of one being called to be religious. Now, I cannot see myself in any shape or form as being a religious person. Yes, I believe the word religious applied to the religious orders is right and proper. But I see myself primarily as a Christian. And I can't ask young people to be religious. Why? Well, because for me, Jesus is a very disconcerting, challenging influence on my life. For me, Jesus is a revolutionary. Now, young people like revolutionaries in the main. Jesus is a disconcerting and, and challenging influence in my life. And young people like to be challenged. Jesus offers a new way of doing things, a new way of looking at people. Young people like that degree of newness. So therefore, if I am going to present Jesus to them and invite them to follow him, I've got to be very truthful. When he says, follow me, uh, there are no conditions. And so we follow him into the jungle, if you like. I've seen countless young people say, yes, I'll follow Jesus. And he takes them into the slums, in the back streets, into Africa to face poverty and corruption and, and to take them to the uttermost parts of the earth. I've seen it. And the interesting thing to me is that when we, in fact, see Jesus as revolutionary, then we begin to see that the gospel is about change. And the world sees that gospel is about change because young people are changed. On the streets, the best witness to Christ is the uh, junkie who's come off drugs because everyone can see him. The best witness to Christ among the, the, the gangs on the streets is a strong Christian who isn't afraid and has been transformed. So therefore, my passion is that the gospel is presented to young people in such a way that uh, it's not an easy option. It's not running away from the world. It's catapulting them into an arena of excitement and of danger. And so I often say to young people, if you want a quiet life, don't follow Christ. If you want to stack your bank full of pounds, don't follow Christ. If you want to be stinking rich and you want to be popular and win all the competitions, don't follow Christ, because that's not his way. But the way offered to you by a corrupt, selfish, greedy world is the way of destruction. Not because I say it, but because the newspapers show it every day. There are so many unhappy people. Look at the smashed marriages and families of film stars. It's there every day for everyone to see. It's news. So my passion in life is to enable individual boys and girls and men and young men and women to experience a purpose in life and to have a presence, the presence of Christ within them so that they can go out and know 
that they never walk alone. And I am worried because religious people live in safety. They take out good insurance policies. Religious people, I think, are sometimes very dull, very boring, very uninteresting. For me, no one can call Christ boring. The youngsters will say, wow, he's a nutcase. Well, fine, at least they see something about what he's saying and doing. Others tell me, wow, he's cool. Uh, but at the end of the day, we are called as Christians to proclaim a Jesus here and now, not there and then. In the schools, they teach about what Jesus said in the past. They teach about what Jesus did in the past. I'm primarily concerned with what Jesus is saying now, with what Jesus is doing now. And with that, I share with the young. Wow, I'm so exhilarated when I'm with the youngsters. Uh, they wear me out. But wow, am I excited because I know that the dynamic of the church is to be found in young believers. So let us go out and preach the Jesus who uh, got himself into trouble. The biggest trouble of all, the cross. And let us lead young people into an experience of the exhilarating presence of Christ. The world gives them no hope. Jesus gives them hope. The world gives them no purpose in life. Jesus gives them purpose in life. The world leads to war and corruption and disillusionment. Jesus leads us to eternal life. That is the vision. I love young people. I want young people to infuse the church with their life. I want the church to be enriched by the young, not discarded by the young. And I believe Jesus is the friend of the young. After all, he said, suffer the little children to come unto me, allow them to come. And I share that passion. Let's pray. Father, we're children, we're your children. Help us to speak your truths in simple, direct words. May young people discover that you're with them and that you'll always be with them and that you've come that they might have life in all its abundance. Amen. God bless you. Dennis Wrigley Ministries. A better way. Unity, renewal and healing. Thank you for watching.